So today you're gonna come make a fairy house with me. So today we're going to be making a fairy house together. We're going to go through step by step of how you would go through making a fairy house, fairy cottage, fairy retreat, fairy land for your fairy friends. We are going to start with step number one and that is assembling all the items that you want to use. The first item I would think about is the container for your fairy house. You could use an old birdhouse, a new birdhouse. You could use a dollhouse. And then there's other nature items. Since they are nature spirits, I really like the idea of using things that incorporate elements such as stone, wood, maybe metal, shiny objects. You could even use a simple planter. And that's what I plan on using today. <laughs> The first step, we're gonna assemble our items, some sort of container or base to make the house out of. I have a planter and I have a chunk of wood from a tree that was cut down nearby. So I'm using both of them as my container type pieces. I also have some longer sticks that I wanna do some kind of TPing or something like that with. And then I have a lot of other items. I have all these little baby pine cones that I can't wait to show you. I have some larger ones. I have some small stones that I have collected, um, lots of herbs, a lot of dry herb bundles that I had been making throughout the fall and then using as offerings on my Persephone altar. And then when I switched to a Yule altar, that's what I was using for that as well. I also had some like Fey inspiration in that altar as well. It was gorgeous. You might want something for a sense of whimsy. I've chosen an old lavender oil bottle. Label still on it. A strong scent of lavender still left in it, but it's mostly empty. So I have that upturned in my altar because I just find it to be such a fun sense of whimsy that it's like, did the fae get into the lavender oil again? What's going on here? Um, and I do find in my spiritual working with Faye, they're, they're a little silly with me. They like to do little prank trickster stuff, nothing harmful, things that are just be an annoyance, but whenever I see it and I'm like, that's from Faye, I'm like, <laughs> it just makes me giggle. Um, one of my things that they move a lot is my wooden cheese board that is on top of my cabinets. Every day it's moved. It's moved every day. And for years, my keys on top of one of my other cabinets would get moved a lot. I had them up there where nobody could reach them. Nobody knew they were there. Every time I went to get them, they were in a different spot on top of the cabinet. I'm preparing the items. And for me, I have to clean out a planter that I had used in a previous altar. And then I lay out all of my herb bundles. I get everything kind of like a mise en place different little herb bundles for my my altar my yule altar it's just kind of disassembling laying everything out and seeing where we'll go next i'm going to go ahead and cleanse my fairy pot bowl whatever you want to call it it's a very unique piece that i picked up at a local crystal store in my area herbs inside i had a beautiful beautiful altar set for yule that I was using this in. A lot of shadow and underworld work I've been doing this time of year. Head off to the side to dry. Start assembling some more ingredients that I've been collecting. I have a myriad of things that I have foraged from outside. my favorite items used in spell work lately. I love that they're biodegradable. I love that they work well for Fae and deities that are patrons of nature. So they've worked really well in my work anyways, and they're free. 
That's the whole meditation in the meantime while you're collecting them. I still use items like craft item type things. For instance, I have this little bird left from some craft work I was doing another time. But Faye wouldn't love that. Everything laid out and ready to go so that once I get in that good, deep meditative state and I'm like feeling real good, I can just start intuitively choosing items. I foraged my items throughout the fall. Um, sometimes I brought friends with me, family members. I really enjoy doing some forest bathing and some foraging alone. I love meditative walks. They just really, oh, they just raise my vibration. They things like pine cones, pine needles, rocks, leaves. Oh yes, I love to collect sticks and leaves. I always have some new sticker leaf and I have a cute little stick in there for you too to see. Um, it almost looks like a little fake coat rack and I just, I saw it outside, I picked it up. They were actually passed down to me through a relative. And when I saw these, they were they were brooches. And I've been doing a lot of crafting type of spells lately. Um, the way I set my altar, protection pieces, things like that. And when I saw that they looked like little fairy houses, I had to add them to my altar. And then my little baby witch likes to also pick them and add them to altars. A little sense of whimsy. She's going to love this fairy house. Got some cinnamon for some nice warm inviting energy. This adorable little stick that I found on one of my nature walks. Lots of different little herb bundles for my, my altar, my Yule altar. It's just kind of disassembling, laying everything out and seeing where we'll go next. I like to light some candles set the mood a little bit, maybe set an altar up. Like this would be a great place to work because there is so much nature, spirit energy, so much fey energy here. This would be a great place to light your candles and put into an energy for the work that you're about to begin. Just take your items and start placing them into your container on top of your base. I started out with some of my dried pine that came off of my tree. I saved this and kind of just gave it a light like hand pruning to get any dead stuff off. I have my little houses. I'm going to use these doors. I love this little piece of a little bird's nest I found. I'm just going to tuck it in right there with these beautiful little petals that fell off of the flower. What's more fave than that? These teeny tiny baby pine cones. I collected these all fall. Nice, nice amount of these. And that's something that I did with my children and my nieces, who I just love doing little scavenger hunts and things in the garden outside with. Over here I have a little lemon thyme dried bundle. Again, that I made back in the fall. Now we're, we're deep into winter. We're February 7th today, I believe. So it's it's getting to be pretty cold. So this is a nice activity to kind of boost the whole household morale. I'm using this paper card that my father signed. And I'm saving this beautiful pink glittery flower I'm going to take off and add it to my Fay house. enjoy and interact in your fairy house. Similar to how you would work with a money bowl, you want to keep working with it because when the energy becomes stagnant, it's no longer working for you. So when you're coming back to the fairy house and you're adding items, you're picking up a crystal like this moonstone to connect you to a good moon energy. Say you have a project you're working on, you're working, you're working, you're working, and you're not getting anywhere. 
you need that passive energy from something like the moon. So you could take something like this and add it as an offering to your fairy house. Yes, your fairy house could be just for fun. It could be decorative. It could be something fun that you and your kids do together and add dolls into it as well. It could also be a spell, like a money bowl would be, like an abundance altar. To me, the fae are really about working together. You could add a beautiful rose quartz to it. You could even charge it with that emotion that you want to feel. 